we're ready to go. Cedric Mullins takes a first pitch fastball up high for a ball. The Orioles, the last team to sweep the Astros here at Minute Maid Park, and that was last June. That last spot in the wild card. JV gets Mullen swinging at that pitch one and two on that inside corner after a fastball being rushed in for a called strike Tried to hold up and he does third base umpires the crude called strike instead. It's two and two Another check swing on a pitch down and Mullins has somehow stayed alive today in only five innings that was in Baltimore Out there and win JV's obviously got the stuff to do it Bit of a battle early on here with Mullen. Scouts with 3,161. Line drive off the glove of Jeremy Pena into center field. Pena couldn't make the play on the short. Rushman takes a pitch up for a ball. All their runs in the third inning. That went a little bit high. 2 0. Oh. Made it hitter. That's a top of the zone strike two and one day. He is a steal in both games so far. There he goes Pitches up and Maldonado did not get a good grip and that'll be a stolen base for Mullins his 28th of the year The American League lead in stolen bases with 28 each That ball towards center field that'll be down for a hit Mullins had to hold up So he'll be held at third Adley Rushman here Team leader in home runs and RBIs had a two run home run last night. Swings to the first pitch and fouls off 95. It's the Raptor has retired him with the fastball three times. The two hits by Santander have come on sliders. It's over. That's popped up. Foul territory. Maldonado giving it a look, but it'll be out of four seam, curveball, and slider mix. Another pop up, and that's going to also go out of place. Santander, rather. Just staying alive on that pitch. The ball hit far, but foul. Another one hits the roof. Santander continues with an 0 2 count. And now he goes down on strikes. Verlander finally gets him with the curveball down. That's a big strikeout for the first out plays First and third one out and the pitch missing up one and oh Fastball in fast for the best record in the American League Tried to hold up on a pitch up and he goes too far one and two When they make that swing decision, they're not sure Went after one way up. Mountcastle down on. Guardian records between the Yankees and Athletics. The local kid, Adam Aller, was dealing for eight innings. He was E.J. LeMahieu unable to turn a double play through the ball away, and that's how the game-winning run scored. The Astros still Santander, a strikeout of Mountcastle. Now Austin Hayes. There goes the runner. The pitch is a called strike. Rushman will not draw a throw for Maldonado. It's one. Swing and a miss. What a miss. Played, uh, played infield. Uh, a lot of dreams, I'm sure, growing up. Guys watching Derek Jeter, Robinson Cano. Uh, play. That's that's really where I began to really learn how to pitch versus just, you know, throw hard. And just love being out there and, and, and playing with your friends. I think growing up, that's the one thing I think parents need to just. We just saw your buddy Carlos Correa in town with the Twins. and. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there a story where you guys were both at an area really early? I mean, my, my peak, my peak was about 16, 17 years old. Um, the velocity came in, in chunks. And side, Correa was at short. After I got done playing or pitching, I went to second. Um, so it was fun. I, I've known Carlos for a very, very long time. Minor leagues and decided to go out there and pitch. Was that arm slot easy to find and keep and maintain that Stay, velocity? Hold on. Get up, Tuck. Get up, Tuck. <laughs> Kyle Tucker makes the play. When you watch someone like JV, you know, it looks like it's just so repeatable and it's so it's so explosive at um, in working out or just, you know, everyday everyday activities. How much fun has it been watching the guy on the mound now? Uh, every so often and you think of names like, you know, 
uh, you know, Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens, uh, you know, Pedro Martin, 13, 14, 15. The way he was able to reinvent himself and bounce back, and uh, you know what he's done in this Astros uniform, it's it's been. JV have had those Tommy John surgeries and had to battle back from injury. Talk right. about talk about how hard it is. Uh, you know, probably with the body to sit behind a desk. Um, so it's just one of those things where you just try to do your best, and it teaches you you know a little bit of mental fortitude um, and things of that nature. So you go through that process, you come out the other side, and I, I believe. Up the other night, where are you right now? Yeah, well, that's that's part of pitching, and uh, you know, there's the old saying: if you get 30 starts, and I think they they have a really really good young team, um, but those games are uh, are what decide the season. So I've had three of them. Games, it's amazing how he attacks on the mound, and now he faces Robinson Chirinos, which is an interesting matchup because the last time we start, Chirinos caught all 34 games that Justin Verlander started that year. Torino's grounds one towards third, knocked down by Bregman, but no play can be made. I'm be <laughs> Here's Cedric Mullins. They changed that error on Pena to a hit for Mullins, so he now has an 11 game hitting streak with a hit in his. Takes the pass ball up and in, 2 0. Oh. Two oh pitches up, 3 0. Oh. Coming out of the All Star break. Berliner given that strike. Three. Now the count's full. That one slides the other way, giving it a look, Mancini, but he's. Flip it in, close, tough take, and a good one as it turns out for Mullins. He starts him off with a strike, only the fourth first pitch strike of the first. And he drops in another strike, getting ahead of Down underneath my hands, or is it going to be that fastball in the mid-90s up? Beautiful. That's a call, third strike. JV attacking a hitter who's very patient. Yeah. Getting ahead and putting him away. It's the per wipe out a lineup and say, okay, I've got two runners on. I want to go and get the strikeout. We could have picked the brain a little bit more and said, you know, how do you go about doing that? Quickly, especially towards the bottom of the lineup. <laughs> and that's what he did. He yeah. had a quick hitting there. Santander sends this one to center field. Dubon will make the catch. Both runners tag, and Mullins doesn't realize it that he's hung up now. He didn't realize that Torino.